In this episode number four, we're gonna talk about the angle of the whole foil in the board. Therefore, I brought these two tools with me. These are shims, which we can put in the fin box and a level box to actually see what kind of angle we have in the board. What do I mean when I talk about the angle? It's the angle of the foil compared to the board. This means more angle, you'll see that the front wing comes a little bit more up and the fuselage is less parallel to the board. With less angle, you see the opposite. The front wing goes more to the board and the fuselage is more parallel to the board. You need to imagine that every single board has small differences in the box. Therefore, it's impossible to make the foil in a way that for everyone's board, the foil is always in the same. No, we need these shims to play with the angle to make sure you get to the angle you want to have. This really depends per board that you're riding. You need to imagine when you have a board which is a little bit more of a flat deck, which I have, the nose is quite low. There's other boards which are having a bit more of a pointy nose that's facing up. This way you can ride the board with a little bit less angle. But in general, I would say we're always searching for a minimum of three degrees. What do I mean with three degrees? That's why we have this level box. When I want to measure my angle, I put this box on the board. The moment it's on the board, I make sure the box is on zero. This means that when I afterwards take the box and I put it on the fuselage, the angle of the foil compared to the board is being showed on the level box. This number is very interesting as it can change a lot in the performance. For example, when you have your nose too far down, which means you don't have enough angle, you're usually leaking a little bit of power. And the other way around, the moment you have your nose pointing up to the sky, you have too much angle, this means you have too much power or maybe even not enough aerodynamics to really reach your maximum speed. So together with these shims, which we can put inside the fin box, we can really play with this angle. And I would really recommend for everyone with their own board to try and find the right trim. Me, with the Fnatic, I have quite a low nose, so I'm always driving it on a 3.5 to 3.6 degree angle. But again, this is personal. I would go for a minimum of three, three and a half degree angle. Use this as a base and get your tuning up from there.